Today on Beyond Boil Up, we're going to be making Calvin's mushroom risotto with lamb rack. <laughs> For the lamb rack, you need lamb rack. It's quite important that you let this get up to room temperature and we'll rub that in olive oil, pepper and salt. So the ingredients that we have for our mushroom risotto, we've got 100 grams each of Swiss brown and portobello mushrooms, half a diced onion, about 50 grams of parmesan, and a little bit of truffle oil, half a cup of cheap white wine, some chopped up Italian parsley, about two thirds of a cup of arborio rice, you're going to need about 50 grams of butter, a bit of olive oil, and between half a litre to a litre of chicken stock, which you can make yourself if you like. So into the saucepan you should put your chicken stock. We actually made this ourselves, um, you can make this really easily, and um, every time you do a roast chicken, you might as well make some stock. Um, if you are not sure how to make some stock, I will put a description in the down bar. Anyway. What you should do is just put your chicken stock into a saucepan and if you've got any uh, vegetables lying around, carrots, celery, etc, um, just put those in there to intensify the flavour and just have that on a low heat. So we've got the butter in the um, saucepan um, and then we're just going to add a bit of olive oil and pop in the onion. wait for them to go translucent to add the rice and you just want to make sure that you get the rice um, with a good coating of olive oil and butter over it and we're going to just keep that going until they're lightly toasted so once the rice is lovely golden and toasted we're going to add the white wine and um, let that go until it evaporates. Just take a look at this. Look at that beautiful golden colour we've got going on the rice. So we'll just let that evaporate and Mihi is just chopping up the um, mushroom so she'll explain to you what she's doing over there. Okay, so I'm just getting the mushrooms ready for the risotto. Um, with the Swiss browns, we're just sli slicing them very, very finely. And with the portobellos, just getting a dice. Once the wine is all evaporated, you can add a ladle at a time of stock. So pop the first ladle in, and then once that is all absorbed into the rice, you can add some mushroom. So now we're going to add about half of the diced portobello mushroom. Actually, Mickey, I think we can add the rest of the portobello as well. Actually, you can see here, it's ready to add the next ladle of stock. Okay, so we're just moving on to cooking the lamb racks. Um, I've had the skillet preheating on the oven, so it's really nice and hot. Alright, so I'm just going to pop the lamb rack um, into the skillet to lightly grill. Um, we'll start with the fatty side first. We'll try and cook as much of that fat off as we can, um, just so it's nice and crispy. So just while I'm cooking off this lamb, 
And I'll just keep an eye on Annie as dry so it turns on a very nice heat at the back of the oven. Oh, cheers! Okay, so now that the lamb rack is all sealed and nicely browned, we're just going to put them in the oven which has been preheated at 180 degrees. So the lamb rack is all sealed off, Mickey's popped those in the oven, and it's actually time to add the rest of the mushroom into the risotto. And come take a look at this. This is gonna be delicious. When the risotto is ready and it's all soft, mmm, delicious, you wanna add half the parmesan. Combine that through. And then finish it off with a little bit of butter. So that butter is just going to finish it off and make it beautiful and silky. I'm just going to throw a bit of cracked pepper at that to finish. So the wine that we've chosen to match with our lamb rack and mushroom risotto tonight is the Ara Pinot Noir 2012. This is from the Wairau Valley in Marlborough. Um, this is a typical Pinot you know, of that region actually, it's very light, um, the flavours we've got in there are very light berry, like boysenberry, raspberry, which is going to complement our meal beautifully. This smells incredible! Okay, so just on top of the risotto, we'll sprinkle a little bit of parmesan, um, some of the parsley, and some black pepper. And finish with the gorgeous lamb rack. This looks amazing. Almost forgot the truffle oil. Just a droplet. But it's I can wait to get into this one. I know, it looks and smells so good. Mmm. Okay, that's delicious. Excuse the fingers. Oh, that was pretty good, really. 